I found it. Now what? Push the red button. They're all red. This is a button bush. Button bush is a large multi stem deciduous shrub that thrives in wet environments. You'll often find it forming thickets along ponds, rivers, lakes, and marshes where it can grow to be about 12 feet tall and 8 feet wide. Its ability to tolerate flooding and occasional drought makes it a valuable plant for preventing soil erosion. So how do you recognize a button bush? First, let's look at the leaves. The leaves are simple and are arranged in pairs or more commonly, whorls of three. They're usually lance-shaped, about 2 to 8 inches long with a point at the tip and will have smooth, dark green surfaces, but they turn yellow in the fall. The edges of the leaves are entire, meaning they have no teeth or lobes. Now, the real showstopper of the button bush is its flowers, which is where the species gets its common name from. They bloom in June to September and produce spherical inflorescences of tiny white flowers. Each of these small flowers has four stamen, sepals, and petals, but only one pistil, but that makes them perfect. That pistil is what sticks out and gives the inflorescence its spiky appearance. These round flower heads can be one to one and a half inches across and are highly attractive to bees, butterflies, beetles, and even hummingbirds. After pollination takes place in about September to October, button bushes will produce spherical clusters of reddish brown nutlets, which are small dry fruits that develop from each tiny flower in the head. These fruit clusters persist through the wintertime and are an important food source for waterfowl, including ducks and geese, that rely on wetlands for survival. All in all, if you're looking for a striking native plant that supports pollinators, provides habitat for wildlife, and stabilizes wet soils, buttonbush is the perfect addition for your garden or landscape. All right, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about the buttonbush with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.